Authentic Christian hope does not depend on an intermediate state, and Christians do not need the notion of an immortal soul in order to guarantee personal continuity between present existence and future resurrection. In the memorable words of 2 Timothy 1 verse 12, which, I know whom I have believed, and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. So I place my hope not in a theory about what happens after death, but in the God of Jesus Christ, the Lord of the universe, who is able to raise the dead and who has faithfully promised to renew heaven and earth. Whatever we think about the intermediate state, and I acknowledge that belief is dear to many Christians, scripture is clear that our genuine hope is not heaven as either a final destination or an intermediate state. Okay, Middleton, but maybe that's biblical, but will it preach? <laughs> well, I preached at my mother's funeral in 2010, my dad's funeral in 2012, most recently my mother-in-law's funeral this past September. I can testify that not only did I not appeal on those occasions to the idea of our dear beloved ones now being with Christ in heaven, I explicitly said this was not the authentic Christian hope. Instead, I focus on the hope of resurrection and new creation. Scripture, I was bold to proclaim, promises the redemption of the entire created order and understands human redemption as the restoration of full-bodied life in a new earth. This is nothing less than the coming to fruition of God's intent from the beginning, which even death cannot thwart. And when the funeral service this past September was over, two sisters of my mother-in-law, both my wife's aunts, both devout Christians, asked me if I'd preach the same message at their funerals when their time came, because they said it gave them hope. Thank you.